Bob's technically a Newcastle fan with his colours, but oh, well, he's getting on high ground. I think he's a bit nervous about today. Bob, what do you think about today? Look at me if you think Newcastle are going to win. Hey guys, well Lewis here, and today we've got another match day vlog for you guys. It's Sunday, it's Carabao Cup final day, it's Manchester United versus Newcastle United. And we're going to today's game after the thrilling 2-1 win against Barcelona in midweek. So the fans and the players are in very high hopes ahead of today's game. We haven't won a major trophy in six years, so today is our opportunity. And Newcastle haven't won a trophy, a major one, since 1969. So both teams are really eager to get a piece of silverware today. It's not going to be an easy game today. Be honest, I'm pretty nervous. But let's see what happens. Come on, United. Right guys, in the car, just pulled up at Cannons Park Tube Station. It's only a few stops on the Jubilee line to Wembley Park. Yeah, 12.52, so we've got plenty of time to uh, soak up a bit of atmosphere. It's a bit of a different one. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool final, isn't it? It's a, it's, a big, it's a big one. Chance to win some silverware. Uh, it's been, been a while. Yeah. Uh, in fact, was it exactly six it's years ago today? Sunday the 26th of February 2017. Where we came down here. Yes. And uh, witnessed that one, didn't we? Videos on YouTube if you want and to check it out. And you had long hair for that one, so if you want to have a good laugh, then uh, have a look on YouTube and look at our vlog from My, that day. Our dedicated support, our followers. Fantastic. You'll know. His voice has gone. So, uh, anyway, yeah, today uh, it's going to be a, a much anticipated final, this one. Uh, both teams, obviously, United, uh, 10 years without a league win. Uh, and uh, six years without a, a trophy. So for Newcastle, God, 60, 1969, uh, they've won nothing since then. No. Uh, they've had a couple of cup finals there and there, haven't they? Uh, got beat by City in 1976 in the League Cup final. Uh, we beat them in 99. Arsenal beat them the year before in 98, yeah. I think. Uh, and obviously... Alan Shearer desperately wants a trophy in that cabinet. I mean, we're two teams that have made significant progress, you know, in the past 12 months. And it's going to be very... I'm quite nervous. Yeah, I think United won't be overall by the occasion. You know, we've, they, we've, got, we've got big players who've played in World Cup finals. Yes. And, you know, the, the crowd's going to be, you know, it's going to be a big motivation. For Newcastle... What Newcastle is going to turn up? Obviously, they've got the keeper situation, uh, and uh, and they've got a team that, like quite quite uh, rightly, Ten Hag says, that annoy people. Yes, they're, uh, they are an annoying team. They're, they're full of annoying players. Uh, yeah, you know, skillful players, some of them, but uh, yeah. they they can frustrate, uh, which which makes uh, predictions quite interesting. Uh, Could I'm, be anything. I think, yeah, I, I think. I'm quietly confident that we can beat Newcastle today. Uh, I think we, we're riding on, on, on a, a good momentum at the minute. Uh, good win against Barcelona. Yeah. Let, let's just take that into today. Uh, hope Rashford's okay. Yeah. Uh, hope he starts. But there's plenty of plenty of options. Go on, Nacho. Uh, will he start, Sancho? Go on, Nacho. Uh, Anthony. Anthony. Uh, there's a few. Uh, Weckhorst. Uh is he going to keep the faith? I think a lot of players are in good form at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard yeah, to you, pick, you really. Can, you can look at Veghorst and think, 
yeah, you, you understand why he's a lone player, but yeah. he, he does work hard. Yeah, he does. He doesn't get the end results, but uh, prediction wise, I'm going to go. It's good. It's a tough one to predict. Uh, I'm going to go three one United. Three one Manchester United. What about you? Uh, I'm going for a two one. I think it will be done within ninety minutes. I hope at least. Um, I just see it being very tight. I mean, it was nil nil at Old Trafford back in September. I Whoever think gets it was. that first goal, that's going to be quite interesting. Uh, Definitely. To see how that pans out, but uh, it's going to be quite tight. I'd like I think. to think we can come out of the blocks and and really teach them uh, a good footballing lesson today. So, three, three one, one two, two one. one. See you later. Right guys, let's get out of the station. The stadium will be right in view. A little bit of a merchandise section here for the United and England. Uh, Yet to have the condiments and that on the top. Right, guys, everyone's been given one of these scarves, these United scarves, to create a sort of wall of red, if you like, when the players come out. I'm wearing it, this one's dad's actually really nice. Right guys, here's today's very nice looking program. It's a kind of like a book style, but some advertisement there for Caravan. Right guys, so shout out to Mustafa. Have you enjoyed the game, mate? Enjoy the game, Mustafa. Take care. Newcastle's team has just come out. It's the roar for the Newcastle fans. And now, Manchester United! United team has just come out to war, but... The referee is David Coots. Please welcome, first of all, the voice of Old Trafford, Alan Keegan.
Number 18, Casemiro. Number 19, Rafael Verla. Number 20, Diogo Dallo. Number 21, Anthony. Number 23, Luke Shaw. Number 27, Valt Vekos. And today's substitute. Number two, Victor Lindelof. Number five, Harry Maguire. Number 12, Tyrell Malassio. Number 15, Marcel Savinsa. Number 22, Tom Heaton. Number 25, Jaden Sancho. Number 29, Aaron Juan Bazaka. Number 39, Scott McTominay. Number 49, Alejandro Guinacho. Well, here we are, Wembley. Finally, you will all have your souvenir scarves on your seats. We want you to create a wall of red. Bring on United. Come on, Wembley. Alan King are very passionate there ahead of today's game. His voice was synonymous with our game for over 50 years, covering more than 2,000 matches, including games across the EFL and our competitions. He'll be sorely missed by our thoughts of John's family, friends, and former colleagues. As Wembley was the setting for much of John's finest work, Today we invite you to show your appreciation in the period of applause in celebration of his life. Mind of course for John Watson, obviously a famous commentator. You see him a lot on match of the day. Sadly passed away last week. Depends when he went to uh, clear the cross. Oh. 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 Oh.
goes up forward. Guys, it's half time. Manchester United 2, Newcastle United 0. I think we started off a little bit shaky. Newcastle got forward a few times. Uh, but then Casemiro gave us that first goal. Quickly got the second from Mark Stratford. Um, the Newcastle fans are now silent. It's gone very uh, quiet, hasn't it? And I think it sets us up good for the second half. But I said this to you. If Newcastle get a goal, their crowd are going to immediately get behind them. And it's just going to be nervous. So it's still... I think a lot in the balance. Yeah, we should Newcastle were we looked tired early on. Obviously we played on Thursday night and Newcastle had rest. We yeah, looked a bit sluggish. And obviously the crowd were getting by Newcastle. Obviously we get that goal and the second one and it's it's just dead. Newcastle fans have just died on them. And they need that support behind them. Yeah. If Newcastle they get back, they need the fans behind them. Obviously they're gonna, they're gonna be shooting against their fans second half. Likewise we we you know United will be shooting against us so Two 0 it's yeah, I didn't see that coming. No, Certainly not the first twenty minutes, but you know, the two goals, I mean Wegloss could have had one as well. Uh De Gea had, had one little little save to make, but otherwise yeah, I'm happy with that all day yeah, long. Uh, Even on the second good. half. If we get a third it's all over. Yeah. I say just keep scoring more goals, but we need to keep tight in defence. They have had a few uh, a few chances up the so we just need to keep them at bay and we'll be alright. <laughs> Right, 25 minutes left. Uh, Newcastle had the better possession, but we've been a bit sloppy. Again, if it long balls up, it needs to change it by now. Once we've got Sancho, we've got Nacho on the bench, and obviously, like Savage to lift a lot for the rest of players. So, I think it needs actually it's a bit so hard. That's what Tom is actually coming on now. So. Oh, 
straight more power, that would have gone in. Fans are giving it back to carriers. So funny. Guys, that's the offside shot. Rashford looks completely drained, he's been taken off. Maguire's filling in for him. I think Ted Arm's going to play him now. Flash so after bringing Savage to the top of the head, now Maguire on. There will be a minimum of five minutes of additional time. Our first trophy since 2017. Feels good, feels very good.
continues. <laughs>